Hello friends, my name is Leia of Cozy Crochet Co, where I show you how to crochet the cozy way. And in today's video, it's going to be a life update, a project update, a channel update, an update update video, where I just sit here and talk to you guys. It's really chill. We're off the script type of video. So literally anything can happen. Um, <laughs> so I'm currently working on an ear warmer for my little sister. Um, a few years ago, I made her like Virginia Tech color ear warmer for Christmas and she sent me a picture of her wearing it and saying that it was really useful um, because it's like super cold where she's at. She's currently at Michigan State and so I'm making her one in Michigan State colors which is like green and this white tweed um, which is super fun. It's Tunisian crochet and it's the Tunisian crochet full stitch just using like scrap yarn that I had in my collection one way for you to get like more handmade items from the crochet or knit in your life is to wear the stuff that they make you so that's why i'm making sure to make her one that is super nice so she can wear it wear it to class and everything and i don't know what it is about this niche crochet full stitch but i'm just having so much fun using this stitch with like multiple colors. So that is a project that i am going to be working on during this video. But let me go ahead and show you the other projects that I'm working on currently. So in one of my other videos, I talked about how swatches can inspire you to either write a pattern or come up with another like bigger project. And so I have been working little by little on this shawl pattern and it is absolutely so cute. Honestly, I can stop right here and it can be like a little, oh, I gotta block it though. It can be like a little scarf. Um, I'm just really in love with this and it's super fun. Now it is using a weight three yarns, which is taking me a lot longer <laughs> than it normally would, but I'm actually really enjoying using like a smaller hook and a smaller size yarn. Um, obviously I'm using like a smaller furls hook because any other hook, I don't think I could handle right now, but yeah, I'm really enjoying um, I'm really enjoying this. I have like two more balls of this yarn, so it's going to be a relatively big shawl. So I'm very excited on how this is going to come out. And the pattern is already finished. I just have to finish making it so then the pattern can have like more complete pictures. So here on my channel, I have started a series where I talk about how I create my uh, crochet patterns. And so the pattern that I was talking about, I had to kind of like put a pause on because I was working on another pattern, um, a pattern test actually for a another crochet designer. Um, so this is where we are with it. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah this this is it um i haven't worked on it for a while and i'm hoping that i can pick the series back up sometime in march so those are the projects that i am currently working on but let's talk about a project that i just finished literally like two hours ago and this is the twisted stitch ball clava by may crochet it's like a made to measure pattern it's really unique and if you've never used her patterns before you like will measure yourself and input those measurements into the pattern and then the pattern will tell you uh step by step directions on how to make it customized to your body so it's very size inclusive and so i did this balaclava and i absolutely love it we don't really wear balaclavas here in virginia <laughs> <laughs> so as I was wearing it I had my husband wear we just ha had like a lot of fun taking pictures in this thing and I had a lot of fun I learned a lot of new techniques when making this so I'm really excited to use those techniques in some of my other projects but yeah I absolutely love this thing I still have to um, sew in some ends but I had so much fun making this I'm super sad that it's already over but I think maybe I'll make another one probably for my actual husband because he had so much fun with wearing this that I think I'm gonna make him one but probably in colors that he'll like in colors that he will most likely wear so this is what it looks like I used she used a different stitch but I used my petite heart stitch and it came out absolutely adorable the only thing about this that was so hard was the back loop only slip stitch ribbing y'all know i hate doing that type of ribbing but it was necessary for this pattern and i think it came out pretty good um i'll put some pictures of us wearing it um we just had so much fun and it was just so much fun like i just had so much fun making this 
and I love the color. This is actually using Furl's Crochet Wander Yarn. If I hope you guys remember, I got some like in a uh, gift box from them a while ago. And they sent me this yarn and I was able to use it for this pattern. And I have some thoughts about this yarn. Most of it really good. But I do hope that in the near future I can do a review for you guys. Um, because this yarn was like really cool. Um, so with all the project out updates out the way, let's talk about the channel updates. Currently as I am filming this video, we are almost at 1700 uh, subscribers here on the channel. Which is so crazy to me. I feel like... At the beginning of the year, we were at 1,200. I blink and now we're at almost 1,700. And for some people, they may think like, oh, that's not that much. But if you think about it, if you're in a room full of 1,700 people looking at you while you're talking and while you're doing something, it's kind of like intimidating, daunting. But at the same time, I'm super grateful because I've always wanted to have a community of like-minded people who love crochet who love to craft and it's just really exciting to have all you guys here so if you're subscribed to the channel thank you so much and if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead and join the community I'm also hoping to do more live streams I know I said this all of last year that I wanted to do more live streams but I really am hoping to get like on a set schedule to where I can do like at least one live stream or like one big live stream a month. That's always been my goal but I just have not been able to get there yet. So let's talk about some videos that I have planned in the near future for this channel. So the next video that you guys will be seeing is what's in this package. Now if you have an idea, if you know, comment down below what you think is in this package because I'm super excited to open it but I'm only going to open it with you guys so i'm gonna wait <laughs> i'm gonna be patient and wait for when i'm ready to film that video to open a package but i already know what's inside um a few of you has also um told me that you're interested in like a room tour a craft room tour and kind of seeing my organization process of my room and how I organize my yarns and all the other stuff. Um, I'm going to be honest, my room is a complete mess right now. Like, you guys only see <laughs> um, not even half of what my room looks like. It looks so crazy because every time I come in my room, my toddler comes in my room and he messes it up. So I'm going to have to pick a day where he is... Um, hasn't messed up my room yet to do that room tour. Hopefully that will be coming up sometime um, in the month of March. So I was also thinking of doing like a mystery crochet along where uh, I wouldn't tell you what the pattern was until I dropped the video or um, I would release like a little part of the pattern every week. Um, I think that's like so much fun. I see people do like mystery knit alongs all the time on social media. So I really want to do that. I just think that it'll probably be sometime later on in the year. So let me know down below if you're interested in doing something like that. I'm thinking maybe we can do like a really fun blanket or um, maybe like a shawl. Also, you guys know that for Christmas, I got a drop spindle and some yarn, like roving yarn. And I really want to do a series on here where I show you like the trial and error of me trying to spin my own yarn. I didn't know this, but like when I was buying a uh, roving yarn at the uh, local yarn store, they were like, oh, are you one of those crazy people that spin their own yarn? I'm like, I have to be crazy to spin my own yarn? <sighs> they call me crazy because that's my plan. I am super excited. Let me just show you guys some of the yarn that I got at my local yarn store. So if you didn't know, Malabrigo is one of my favorite yarns at the local yarn store. It's kind of like my go-to yarn because they never, they just never miss. Like their yarns are just always on point. So I got this, I got actually two of them. The Malabrigo in the... This is Noob, right? The Malabrigo Noob in the color Corteza. Is that how you pronounce it? 659 Corteza. And I just think this yarn is absolutely gorgeous. And I think it will make some perfect yarn. Now, I know nothing about spinning. Absolutely nothing about spinning, let alone drop spindles. So I'm going to have to do some research. Um, I was going to buy a book, but honestly... 
we have Google and we have YouTube and I'm a visual learner. So I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and then come to you guys with my first ever, like my first ever experience using a drop spindle, learning how to spin yarn. So I'm super excited about that series as well. So another series that I wanted to do on this channel is like highlighting indie yarn dyers. Last year I got really into hand dyed yarns and I just found like a whole bunch of really good indie yarn dyers on Instagram and on TikTok. And so I wanted to do a series where I would like buy their yarn and highlight the different color variations that they do and kind of expose a whole new world to you guys because yes we buy like big box yarns but there is so many good indie yarn dyers that nobody knows about and we have to like support the small businesses because they are just so talented and also that gives me another reason to uh buy more yarn so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the little updates that i had for you guys i know um these videos don't come very often where i get to talk to you so casually but i really enjoy making videos like this so if you like this kind of candid really relaxed um form of video where i just let you know what's going on let me know down in the comment section below i want to say thank you guys all so much for subscribing and supporting the channel it means so much to me and i hope that i'm able to meet the expectations and continue to put out really good content for you guys so with that being said i hope you have a wonderful day and as always create something gorgeous bye guys